show of the new year. So, uh, thank you. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy Friday Night Live! <laughs> about the noise coming from this apartment. Oh, what noise? Um, I'm here to work over a um, Miss Marcy Kowalski who's under suspicion of being too hot to handle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're the stripper? Uh, yeah, that's me. Chance! Uh, you're three hours late. Oh, come on, let me do this. You already paid for it. Well, just give me my money back. No, oh, come on. I give old Chance a chance. Oh, no, this is weird. Oh, uh, you know, come on. Let's just, let's just get this over with. Okay, you have one chance. Chance. Nice. I like the way you worked that in there. Yeah, it wasn't intentional. Shorts. No. Okay. I would rather have bamboo shoes. 
cow, Clyde. Uh, <laughs> okay, is he talking like Fonzie? Yeah, that's his thing. I mean, everybody at the office loves it. Really? Huh? Do Richie and Potsy work there too? <laughs> Can we order already? What's the hurry, Murray? What's... <laughs> What's your tale, Nightingale? <laughs> Nightingale. I'm sorry, is this 1955? Pardonnez moi, I want to check out the caboose. You may discussitate amongst yourselves. Discussitate, <laughs> right? <laughs> Great. Seriously, Johnny? <laughs> Look, I know he's kind of different, but you just gotta go with it. He's a pretty cool dude once you get to know him. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, are you gonna hit the jukebox so it plays? <laughs> what are you, kooky? Oh, that's... You gotta put money in. That's just vandalism. <laughs> no, I, I think he's kind of cute. He kind of reminds me of Kanicki from Greece. Yeah, give him a chance, Amy, come on. Oh, okay, fine. So, you seen any great concerts lately? Leather Tuscadero? Huh? Those are some radioactive threads you got there, Dolly. <laughs> hey, wild one. Uh, here in the year 2010, that's a sexist remark. Cool it. Don't rattle your cage. Man, she is tight. Yeah, seriously, Amy, you're being a little uptight right now. What? Sit on it, Rick. <laughs> you know, they didn't even say that in the 50s. So. Hey, don't snap your cap. It's all Jake. It's what? Jake, oh, you are one wet rag, daddy oh. Oh, 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 hey, is that what you want? Hey. What is this? What's, what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, seriously, what a square. I... Fine, have fun with the gang at Arnold's. Too bad. She's got a nice wazoo. Yeah, she was a classy chassis, man. But man, what a fake out. I dig that, Johnny. Hey, can we tear ass and go catch a flick? No, you're in orbit. You coming, Rick? Yeah, this place is Squaresville. Well, we'll have you playing backseat bingo in no time with some dolly. Let's agitate the gravel. Nice. Two. Do you have a reservation? None is needed. Uh, I'm sorry, but we do require a reservation, so if you're not on the list, there's going to be a one-hour wait. <laughs> <laughs> do you know who I am? You're Dana Feldman. Yes, but do you know who that is? No, who is that? That is someone important. Yeah, someone <laughs> real important. <laughs> okay. I have shiny, expensive-looking earrings. Jingly janglies. <laughs> I have a Swiss bank account in America. She buys American cheese in Switzerland. And I belong to five cheers. Quattro. I see. Which is Spanish for cinco. Sure. <laughs> it's not. Are you getting the picture? Is the picture being received by your eyeballs? Yeah. Yeah. I think I got it. Um, don't I know you two from somewhere? Well, do you go to the Spa of the Stars, Burt Williams? Yeah. Uh, have you been to the Restaurant of the Stars, Spago? No. <laughs> have you not been allowed to go into those places, too? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, we've not been allowed into many important places. <laughs> maybe you should start making reservations. Oh, maybe you're not hearing me. I'm hearing you. No, maybe you're not here. Oh, you heard? Yeah. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I know where I remember you from, right? I was at that new place, um, uh, Katsuya, and you two were being thrown out, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, we were, yes. We were accused of making a scene. Can, Can you believe that? that? <laughs> <laughs> place that just opened up down the street. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh, only the most obnoxious, loudest, 
Expensive car looking driving people are allowed in. And they serve great orange chicken. Do tell. Yeah, it's called Panda Express. The chicken is delicious. I'm just uh, trying to uh, I'm just trying to enforce PF Chang's policy here, and since you won't listen, maybe you should go someplace else. Well, we should go there. Don't you think? Thank you. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Replaced. I can <laughs> never, ever look at corn and cabbage the same way again. Can't we just cancel this potluck? Do we have to really do it? Oh, it's too late. She already tied it to our annual performance. Look, can't we stop her from showing up? Mm -hmm. All right, let's start a fire. Yes. Brilliant. Yes, uh, Hi, everybody. Oh, hey. I brought fish. Ooh. Ooh. In my special mayonnaise cream. Mm. Yeah, I made it yesterday, and I let it marinate overnight. Oh. I didn't see that in the fridge. Oh, no, no. I had it in my car all day. Oh. It has ah. to stay at real temperature. Ah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I can't eat fish. It's against my religion. Damn religion. Uh, my dog is named Fish. It'd be like eating dog. My mother beat me with a child as a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just love office parties. Oh, Samantha, try some of my fish bolognese especial. Oh, did you make this? It yes. looks delicious. Oh. No, no, no. Wait, she's the intern. If she gets sick, that means that we get stuck with all the stupid grunt work. Get it! I can't deliver mail and do the tough reports. <laughs> My name is Richard Lichter, and I'm an investment banker. And this year, thanks to the government bailouts, my company achieved record profits and distributed equally large bonuses. I thought I'd spend my bonus by getting my balls dipped in gold. As it turns out, liquid gold is also called molten, and it's really hot. Friday night? Oh, um, actually, I, uh, I have friends in town, so I... Bullshit. What the hell? <laughs> what was that? 
That's my bullshit detector. <laughs> what? It's really sensitive. So, uh, yeah, my, uh, my uncle works for the CIA, and it's kind of a wireless lie detector. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Because what, um, what I actually meant to say was that I, um, I just got out of a really serious long-term relationship. Bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, I'm really uncomfortable with guys buying me dinner. Bullshit. <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Darren, the only reason I flirt with you is to get you to do nice things for me. I'm not attracted to you whatsoever, and I will never go out with you. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> guess that's uh, obviously true. And disappointing, because I just, I wanted to get to know you better, because, you know, I just think you're a really cool, down-to-earth person. Bullshit. All right, all right. I mean, it's not all about your looks. Bullshit. All right, I mean, you're attractive, but you're also funny, so. Bullshit. All right, this thing is not 100% accurate. Bullshit. All right. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you just turn off the damn thing? I don't know what the hell it is. My uncle installed it when I wasn't home, so. Well, um, it was, uh. It was nice seeing you. Bullshit. All right, well, uh, I'm sure I'll see you around. Bullshit. All right. Um, okay, uh, well, we'll talk to you soon. Bullshit. You're a good person. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's always bullshit, right? I mean, uh, yeah, okay, after this, I'm going to watch Transformers and jerk off, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood with your hosts, Jessica Lovelace Chandler and Richard Van Slyke. Hi, our top story tonight. Michelle Duggar, star and mother of TLC's 18 Kids and Counting, said the recent birth of her 19th child was one of the scariest moments of her life. It's just like the old saying goes. Third time's a charm, 19th time you shouldn't be having any more kids. <laughs> Brittany, Murphy, <laughs> Brittany Murphy's widowed husband, Simon Monjack, is planning on suing Warner Brothers Studio for her death, alleging that the stress of being fired from Happy Feet 2 is what killed her. Now, I know that Murphy's official cause of death has not yet been released, but I, for one, believe that Instead of saying that it will, in fact, say not playing the voice of a penguin, instead of saying lots and lots of illegal drugs. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on, Jay Leno had his own lie, Jessica. The talk show host appeared on Oprah this week to discuss the recent Tonight Show drop. Leno says that he told a little white lie in 2004 when he announced his retirement. Really? A little white lie, Jay. Now, no, a little white lie is when you, uh, someone asks you what's wrong and you say nothing or you take a couple years off your age. But saying that you're retiring from The Tonight Show and then taking it back from your replacement after only seven months on the job, that's not a little white lie. That is a big, fat, yellow-bellied coward lie. And I think that Jay Nokio's chin is growing. <laughs> Denise Richards also appeared on Oprah this week and talked about her marriage to Charlie Sheen. She said that while he was verbally abusive to her during their marriage, they are now in a good place and she's now able to focus on her career. Career. <laughs> I thought that this was your career, like going on talk shows and bashing Charlie Sheen. <clears throat> she's back. <laughs> While promoting his new movie, Edge of Darkness, Mel Gibson asked if he recently if he really needed to apologize again for his anti-Semitic rant a few years back. No, Mel, you don't. All is forgiven for that episode. However, I am still waiting for an apology for Lethal Weapon 4. Seriously, I want those two hours back. <laughs> 
Last Saturday, Andy Dick was arrested on felony sexual abuse charges for grabbing a security guard's crotch and groping a male patron while in West Virginia for a stand-up show. It's not the first time the comedian has been charged in, uh, with sexually related crimes. Here to comment on the funny man's unfunny antics, here's our own Chris Cornwelch. <laughs> Okay, Andy Dick, you give comedians a bad name. Who in this country, or anywhere for that matter, wants to go out to a show thinking that the, any minute the person who's supposed to be entertaining them is going to start groping them inappropriately? I mean, just because the guy is funny doesn't mean he can get away with touching other people's parts anywhere. I, I want everybody to remember, remember the 1991 Naughty by Nature song, OPP, and the next time you are related or in, in, in the instance of a predator disguised as a comedian, you will stand no. up and say, I am not down with you touching my privates. I am not down with OPP. Chris, Chris, Chris. yes. We're, We're not, not down, down with, with OPP. OPP. Oh, God. <laughs> ah. well. Chris Grenwilch, everyone. to cancel the struggling series Ugly Betty. After four seasons, the series has lasted much longer than expected to, especially considering the failure of the similar series, Unattractive Girl Not Fit for Television. <laughs> well, with ex excess Hollywood, I'm Jessica Lovelace Chandler. And I'm Richard Van Slyke. <laughs> People of England, hear me. To celebrate the English victory over France, the king will honor us with his new invention, comedy whilst standing up. He calls it stand up comedy. And apparently it's done. We'll laugh what's up with the And now the king! and a cat. The cat knows he's a pussy. Can I get a huzzah? <laughs> that was exhausting. <laughs> this kid over here is French. She's saying, je ne sais quoi. Can I get a pip pip? <laughs> what else is in the news? <laughs> What's going on? The other day, the queen said to me, you never talk to me. I said, what am I, the town crier? Kalu kale! <laughs> this guy knows what I'm talking about. Pip, pip! <laughs> ah, no, ha, 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 ha. Ah, serious, serious. My daughter wants to meet the boy she's going to marry before she marries him. And I say, what is this, the future? Tom Foolery! <laughs> Seriously, you know who the real heroes are? Let's bring it down for a minute. You know who the real heroes are? Peasants. What's the difference between royalty and peasantry? We smell like shit on the inside. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> I see we have a Sir Hexalot in the crowd. Ha 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 ha. Yes, do I come to where you work and tell you how to do your job at the pig fuckery? Boom! <laughs> I just made that move up. <laughs> it's a future classic, but seriously, off of his head, off of his head. No, 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 I don't work at the pig. No, no, no. My friend, the Duke of Gloucester, wants to divorce his wife, which we don't allow. He said, how can I handle my wife? I said, try a catapult. Can I get a what-ho? 
something that violent. Okay. Well, now you said you wanted to learn how to break bread, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to need it. Okay. 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 That's good, but you may want to put a little more energy into it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Try thinking of someone you don't like. No, really? Yeah. It, oh, yeah, it's kind okay. Of fun. Um, well, I don't like my ex husband, Peter. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> <laughs> um, or um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> better. Or, or Miley the Little Slut Cyrus. <laughs> oh. Now you're going. <laughs> this is fun. I told you. <laughs> um, I don't like. Um, Marigolds, or I don't like Elvis impersonators, and I don't like Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs? Cocoa Puffs. The evil, sugar laden things that rot out your teeth. What? I think what? that's what? Enough. What? What? Give me that. <laughs> I don't like bossy people like cooking instructors. I, I think that's going a little too far. I don't think so. I'm needing it. I am needing it. I am thinking of everything in the world I've painted. I am needing it. <laughs> Give me that. No. 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 We're going to no. make it. No. 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 I'm needing it now. I'm getting it good. I am going to kill you. You stupid. 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 No. For example, uh, you know, uh, yeah. What, what, did you, what did you want to do tonight? Well, I thought maybe we could go out and, you know, like grab some sushi and. There's, There's an app for that. <laughs> Look, if I got Sushi Monger on my iPhone, I can select from over 90 plus different kinds of sushi and then even eat whatever kind I want. So it's. Mmm, <laughs> wasabi eat. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's. So what? You know what I mean? Like, it's not like eating in real life. How is that as good? Oh, it's better because it's all of the fun with none of the guilt. Yeah. <laughs> and for one ninety nine, it's a lot more economical, right? <laughs> okay, okay. What about the drinks we were gonna go have after? There's, There's an, an app, app for that. that. Uh, how? <laughs> uh, well, with the Sloshed app, I can order any drink I want, uh, made perfectly, and I immediately feel the effects. How is that even possible? 
I don't know, Susan, but it is. <laughs> and you're beautiful. You can also do harder drugs, too. With the Blow Me app, I can cut the perfect line every time. <laughs> Rock and roll! <laughs> okay, you can't tell me that there's an app that can recreate the highs of an all-night coke binge. Yeah, there is. There is. Believe it. I mean, why can't you believe that the, the, uh, the apps on the iPhone can do anything? Anything! Anything. anything. I mean, name, name something. Something! Anything! Anything! Okay, um, success in your career. I just downloaded the Promotion 500 app. Okay, uh, falling in love. Ah, the uh, Butterflies in My Tummy app. <laughs> Getting married. The Misery app. <laughs> oh! Having kids. Bloop, bloop. Yep, I just knocked up a girl in Mozambique. <laughs> <laughs> you can also impregnate white people. It's just more expensive. Okay, okay, I've got it. Sex. Sex. You cannot tell me that there is an app that... It... Stop! You cannot tell me that there's an app that's as good as having real life sex. Of course there is. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about like a porn app or a National Geographic app. I'm talking about a being inside of someone and orgasming app. Right, it's called Hoarder, and it uses your GPS to locate the closest whore and send her to you. <laughs> yes, you may use my location. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, and with all the money we're saving from these apps and not doing real things, we can actually afford to pay them. Right. <laughs> so, you know what? Win -win. Sexual. I, I hate life in 2010. I'm going to go jump off a bridge. There's, There's an app for that. <sighs> Bachman firm. Yes, please hold. Hey, Chandra. Hey, Lindsay. Oh, hey, um, you want a crispy cream? Bob brought them in for my birthday. Oh, no. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> so happy birthday. Oh, thanks. I don't know what I'd do if someone bought in a cr box of Krispy Kremes for my birthday. Oh, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're pretty addictive. <laughs> yeah. No. No, I have such willpower. <laughs> I am not going to eat one. Never. Okay, that's great. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm super busy today, so... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Chandra, if you want a Krispy Kreme, one is not going to kill you. <sighs> Can I just smell them? <laughs> Quit being weird. Just, <laughs> just, just take one. No. No. <laughs> Lindsay, 
Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Very proud of you. What the hell are you people doing? Ah, Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> what brings you here? You can't just sell my lab. I believe we can, yes. I never would have sold out to you if I thought you would come and turn around and yank my lab out right from under me. Uh, Dr. Frankenstein, we determined that your lab was more valuable liquidated. Who the hell is this? Well, this is Ed Steffens from Corporate Legal. Ed? Yes, uh, Dr. Frankenstein, your family has been experimenting with this technology for well over 100 years and have yet to show a profit. So, there it is. Yeah. Well, wait now. The reanimation of, of lifeless tissue is not all about making money. Well, there is also the liability issue. I mean, we're concerned with the damage caused every time one of your creations is released. Well, they're not released. Uh, they tend to escape. Either way, the level of destruction caused by your monsters is... Oh, please, do not call them that. <laughs> they were people once. Fair enough. But, Doctor, the Globex Corporation is a publicly owned company. We're under pressure from our stockholders to, uh, and <sighs> adhere to the laws of nature. Right. <laughs> you see, investors believe that dead things should stay dead. But my work helps people! Your work helps one person, arguably. <laughs> and this one person, arguably, then uh, rampages and slaughters dozens of other people until a mob can mobilize and destroy it. Right. destroy it, technically. Yeah. There have not been that many fatalities. Uh, Ed? Uh, 276. Ooh. And that's only the bodies we found. Ouch. So. But not all of my creatures have been destructive! Dale there turned out just fine! <laughs> ah! Yes, there is Dale, but really she's only on the board as a favor to you. So, and, um, I don't know if she really turned out fine. Uh, she did kill five people in the office this month. Five. Ah! Dale is not a monster! You're not a monster, are you, Dale? Ah! Yes, see! Uh, I, I take Dale's point, uh, Dr. Frankenstein, but... The point is, our acquisition was really an investment in your brilliant mind. Right, we like you. Yeah. We just can't have you doing this particular line of work. Yeah, maybe you could try uh, reanimating other things. Like ice cream. Ah, have you yeah. ever... Maybe you should be the head of our ice cream division. Yeah. Hmm. Nice, nice. I like that. You yeah. can't reanimate ice cream! Not with that attitude. Have you tried? <laughs> I don't know any other science. I reanimate lifeless tissue and it's beautiful! If by beautiful you mean an egregious and horrific affront to God, <laughs> then yes, yes it is. Uh, no offense, Dan. Ah! All right, Doctor, the point is, we really do our best to help Dale fit in here at Globex, but you know, to be honest, if she were any other employee, she would have been fired by now. Fire! Bad! Oh, no, 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 you've done it! No, 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 you have no vision! I beg your pardon. Come on, Dale. We're leaving. Do ah! you mean you're really happy here? Ah! What do you mean you have a boyfriend? Ah! Fine. Stay here and be a slave to Globex. But know this. From now on, you are re-dead to me! <laughs> <laughs>